live with historically high gas prices for weeks now, though it feels much longer. In the short term, President Joe Biden ordered the U.S. release 1 million barrels of oil per day from its strategic petroleum reserve. Big picture, Biden wants vehicles to average 49 miles per gallon by 2026. 2026 is not that far away. And I can't, I can't look anybody in the eye and say, yeah, the average car that's, that's going to be sold is going to make 40 miles per gallon. I just don't think that to be true. And I don't think they think it's true either. Does this feel more uh, like a political ploy than anything else? It is obviously a political ploy. Patrick Anderson is CEO of Anderson Economic Group. When I see these, I think that uh, successive administrations in Washington have done a disservice to the citizens and to this industry, the auto industry, a signature of, of us in Michigan. Anderson says Biden follows the Obama and Trump administrations in trying to meet an unrealistic fuel standard. The current president's goal is improve vehicle efficiency and cut fuel use. If we're talking dollars and cents, a 49 miles per gallon standard would give American families 33% more miles per gallon than 2021 makes and models. When asked what's a more realistic fuel standard, Patrick Anderson didn't give a number, but said the goal should be to make enough affordable vehicles families can drive and people can use for work. You have people right now buying cars and they're looking at $4 a gallon and they're saying, fuel economy really matters to me. In the next four years, Anderson believes a significant number of cars on our roads will be electric or hybrid. Despite the ambitious standard, Anderson says some automakers are trying to figure out how to make vehicles reach 49 miles per gallon. Meanwhile, the president and U.S. Department of Transportation are getting pushback from environmentalist groups which say more work needs to be done to reduce the carbon footprint. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.